Hey everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my lip experience. Um, if you don't know, I did go get lip injections and I have been getting a lot of requests to do like a, a, a video about them. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, go ahead and give this a thumbs up if you're feeling generous today and um, all of my social media will be in the description box. If you do want to see some kind of like before and after pictures, um, I'm gonna have them on my Instagram in a highlight. So, first of all, um, I wanna talk about my experience. I actually have been wanting them for a while now, um, so it wasn't just a crazy like random decision. Um, and I actually did set up an appointment somewhere at a f facility, um, and I was getting reviews about it and they were like, wow, yeah, don't go there, basically go here. And so I listened to them because I didn't want to have botched lips. And so, um, I went to that place that everyone was recommending. Um, I am in California, so... If you would like to know the place, if you live near me, just message me on Instagram. I'm happy to let you know because they did an amazing job. Everyone was so nice there. Um, it was really a good experience. I would rate it 10 out of 10. Um, and I'm really happy with the results. So basically, I had made an appointment and um, let me see what I'm trying to say. Um... I was really nervous and I was, before the appointment, I was like sweating a lot. I was just sweating, I remember that. And actually whenever she was doing the injections, I was also sweating. So, um, but she said it was very, very normal. Um, so I got in there and to my appointment and um, everyone was so nice. And I literally, I, I didn't even encounter one rude or mean person like, at all it's I, I don't know I loved it okay so yeah I got to my appointment they were like okay we're gonna take you into this room and we're gonna numb you because it was my first time and so the numbing they did the numbing on me for 30 minutes and basically it was just this white cream that they put on my lips and then they also put two dots like right here um, just because they were doing the can cannula cannula the cannula technique and um, yeah, so you had to do like um, two right here, but that really depends on what technique um, your person does if you're going to get lip fillers. Um, they just did the cannula technique for me. And basically it's a huge needle, um, very, very long needle. I was like kind of scared, but um, they go in from right here and they just go into your lips on each side. So instead of just injecting the needle right into like the center of your lips or wherever they go in from the sides and yeah hopefully that makes sense i do have videos of um the needle going in and injecting me on my instagram as well but um yeah so they numbed me for 30 minutes uh i was really really scared <laughs> but um then they moved me to another room and she was like, okay, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna start now. Um, how does your lips feel? I was like, they feel pretty numb. She offered me if I wanted to do like more numbing, but with a needle. Um, I declined and I said, you know, it's fine. I really, I don't think I need any more numbing. So we started um, and it's, it's, it's sharp obviously, cause it's a needle, but it's more like, like force. Like you can feel the force more for that technique. Um, but basically she went in and she did this side and then she did this side and then she did some on the bottom too, but I was really trying to go for the top. Um, and then after you, after she did that technique, um, she went in with another needle that is much, much smaller. And then she kind of like went in to like fine point it, if that makes sense. So she just went in and, um, in different spots and um, filled it in where it needed to be filled in basically. Uh, what am I trying to say? 
I really like how they came out. Um, I guess I would rate the pain like a... Mm, it just depends. I guess for overall, I would do like a 6 out of 10. I, I think I have a pretty high pain tolerance though, but I would rate it like a 6 out of 10. Um, different areas hurt more. Like for example, the middle right here hurts so much more than it does out here um, because apparently all the nerve endings are right there. So it makes sense. But um, yeah, so my first appointment, I went in and I got one syringe. That is one milliliter of filler. Um, she did just a little bit on the sides of my bottom and then she did most of it on the top. Um, and it's commonly practiced to only put one milliliter of um, filler into your lips per appointment. So um, I basically, you know, I got that full syringe and then I was like, you know, I actually want them a little bigger. So I did make a second appointment for two weeks later. Um, and then I got another uh, full milliliter. So I have two milliliters or two syringes in my lips right now. Um, this is what they look like. I think I'm gonna leave it like this for a while. I do have to go back in to, um, in I think she said six to nine months to like maintain if I if I want to maintain because they do dissolve by themselves. So it's something that you really have to keep up with. Um, I will say though, for my first appointment, I didn't see much of a um, a difference. So. I definitely need I did I definitely wanted to go get another one and I did so I I definitely like the results now I might even go just a little bit bigger um I think I'm good for right now but yeah so after the whole procedure um she gave me like a little ice pack to put on my lips and that was really nice and it helped with the swelling um the first time I will say they got pretty swollen, but I only had one small bruise. Um, the cannula technique that she used where she goes in the sides, she actually said that um, most people or most, what are they called? Are they called doctors? I would call her a doctor. I'm going to say it. Most doctors don't um, do that technique because it's more time consuming and um, harder, but she said that that technique actually helps with um, recovery time. So I was like, I'm down with it. <laughs> but um, and and it helps with bruising. So yeah, I only had one small little bruise for the first um, for the first procedure, and it was like right here, and it it was fine. I took some pills. They weren't really pills. They're actually called arnica um and you kind of just take them to help with the bruising and they work really well in my opinion they're really easy and they kind of taste like peppermints um but and they're so small but yeah so i took those and the swelling it gets a bit a bit much but um the second time i went um the swelling was even worse this time because she did it like she did more pokes, if that makes sense. So more pokes will obviously lead to more swelling and bruising, which is what it did lead to. But um, I would give my experience a 10 out of 10. I absolutely loved the place that I went to. I loved the, the people, the doctors. I loved, I love how they look. I'm so happy with the results. Um, so if you have been wanting to get lip fillers, I think that this is your sign. <laughs> okay, so yeah, my healing, my healing probably took, um, they didn't really hurt afterwards, if that makes sense. They were just really so swollen. So like the next day after my procedure, they didn't hurt. It was just swollen and a little bruised and that's fine. I, I had no problem with it whatsoever. Um, but recovery time is usually like seven days after. So you don't really get the full like look until seven days where the swelling's gone, the bruising's gone and everything and they go back to their normal size. Um, but yeah, I loved it. 
it hurt a little bit, but I feel like it was worth it for sure. Um, I mean, it's kind of similar to like tattoo. That's like the thing that I kind of like to compare it to because like it's the closest thing I can think of. And I do have one tattoo and I would probably say that it, the tattoo hurt more, but um, there's also the one that she used, um, I believe it's called Wrestling, Wrestling, the type of filler. Um, and it also had some numbing in it too. So while she was putting it in, it also, it had a little bit of numbing. So that helped as well. But, um, and then other than that, yeah. So I, I went for two appointments, two weeks apart from each other. Um, I, both of my experiences were really, really nice. I loved it. Um, the total cost was about $1,400, um, definitely worth it for me. I also ended up getting some Botox in my face. So if you can see while I rest my face, I just had like a resting bitch face kind of, and it kind of affected my lips and how they look. Um, so she thought that it would be a good idea to put some Botox in my face. She put some like right here and right here and then also a little bit above my lip just because it would help my lip flip up to uh, be, be a little bigger. But um, the Botox, I, I can say the Botox uh, hurt a lot less than the lips. It was like I barely felt the Botox needle. Um, but basically what Botox does, if you don't know, um, it kind of like, what's the word? It helps your muscle relax so that way it's not pulling it down. For example, so my lips, I have a resting bitch face. It was like this, but it was worse because I, I had got Botox in my face. But um, basically there's a muscle right here that was pulling down my lips. So it was resting bitch face. And so she put some in there just to help the muscle not pull it down. So it's not like a frowny face, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, I really like my lips. Um, recovery time was literally like three to five days and then I was good. But um, they always say a week. Um, if you are planning on getting lip fillers, I would definitely recommend to look at the place that you're going because you you need to you need to read all of the reviews and you need to just make sure it's the place that you want to go you need to ask people be like oh where did you get your lips done um do you like them etc because i swear to god if i would have went to the wrong place the first time i would have been very very upset um but i'm so glad i found them they're amazing um and yeah i feel like that's all i really have to talk about in this video so I'm going to get off here, but if there's any other videos that you guys would like to see on my channel, please let me know. Um, my, my Instagram messages are always open, so you can always DM me. And yeah, all of my social media will be, ugh, all my social media will be in the description. So if you'd like to check me out anywhere, feel free. Next time.